Hallelujah. Glory be to God. A glorious day, a great opportunity, a great time to call on the name of the Lord. This morning, I'd like to be able to share with you a word that will encourage you, a word that will inspire you, and a word that will cause you to be able to continue to stand firm in the Lord. Today, we'll share from the book of Hebrews, chapter number 10, verses 35 and verses 36. Hebrews chapter 10, verses 35 and verses 36. And it says this, Therefore, do not cast away your confidence, which has great reward. For you have need of endurance, so that after you have done the will of God, you may receive the promise. So here we are being told that we are not supposed to cast away our confidence. What is a confidence? Confidence is trust. It is a surety. We are being told that do not cast away, do not throw away your confidence. Do not throw away your trust. Do not throw away your assurity. Why? Because it has got great reward. In other words, your faith, which is your trust, which is your confidence, which is your surety, has got a reward. Because we know that God diligently rewards those who seek him. Why? Because it is impossible to please God without faith. And therefore, when you come to God, you must come to him knowing that he's a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. You seek him out of faith. And therefore, you're being told, don't cast away your confidence. Don't cast away your faith. Don't cast away your trust in the Lord. Why? Because there is a reward of you trusting in the Lord. That's why we are told to trust in the Lord with the whole of our hearts and lean not to our own understanding. A lack of trusting in the Lord or a lack of casting away your trust in the Lord will cause you to regret. Never ever exchange trust in the Lord with something else. Even the Bible warned the kings in the Old Testament that some may trust in chariots and some may trust in horses, but you choose to trust in the name of the living God. In other words, your trust in the name of the living God will give you confidence and has a great reward. Why? Because the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Having confidence in that name protects you. Therefore, we are being told, don't cast away or throw away your confidence or your trust or your faith in the Lord. Why? It has got great reward. Verses 36 says this, for you have need of endurance. In other words, your faith will cause you to have endurance. That's why we are told, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. You see, when you cast away your faith, you cast away your confidence, then it is not producing endurance in you. But the Bible is saying, for you have need of endurance, so that after you've done, all, uh, after you've done the will of God, you may receive the promise. In other words, the promises of God will always come as a result of you enduring in your trust and confidence and faith in the Lord. Therefore, if you happen to be one person who rarely sees the promises of God being a reality into your life, there could be a possibility that you have cast off your faith, you have cast off your confidence, you have cast off your trust in the Lord, and that has caused you not to receive the reward. But this morning, I'm here to encourage you. There is a reward awaiting you as a result of you having your trust in the Lord, having your confidence in the Lord, having your assurance in the Lord. There is a reward, and that reward will bring the promises of God in your life because you have built endurance. So you know when you're tested, when your faith is tested, or when your trust and your confidence and assurance is tested, then there is patience being produced inside of you. But let that patience have its perfect work in you so that you can be complete and entire, lacking nothing. In other words, the end result of your faith or the end result of your confidence and trust is actually to cause you to be complete in the Lord. So that is what will help you be able to stand. This day, remember, God gave you the faith through his word and is asking you to stand on his word and never cast it away. There is a reward that comes for those who trust in the Lord, in his word, and never let it go. So you stay blessed and have a wonderful day.